way, get out of the way. Okay. Conga. All right, can I now? Can I, well, <laughs> you also have no traction when you're doing that move. Okay. Uh, yeah. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, we we're talking about uh, Banjo Tooie. So yeah, I may want to do a Banjo Tooie run at some point, but it's so much. Oh damn it! I don't have the move. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta get back up here. Okay, uh, I may do a Banjo Tooie run at some point, uh -huh. but uh, it's such a bigger game. Like this one's really small and contained. Like so, like you can get all ten jiggies in every world pretty much that first time you're there. All oh, right, okay. like so I can come here and I can get all ten jiggy like, and not have to ever come back. Whereas in Banjo Tooie, all of the worlds overlap. Right. So you have to do a lot of traversing, and you'll learn, like, moves that you can't... Like, you'll learn a move two levels later that you need to get a Jiggy in, like, the... like So you can learn a move in level three that you need right. to get a Jiggy in level one, and stuff like that. So you'll have to do a lot of backtracking and stuff like that. So, that while... Ha that happens in the some of the Mario ones, too. Yeah. So, like, while, for the most part, I think that makes it a better game as far as, like, you know, actually getting you to have to think and stuff like that. Right. Uh, it makes it really hard to do videos in because it's, you know, you kind of have to plan things out a little better. Yeah, and just so why we were talking about that in between videos, not uh, during the video. So in case, <laughs> in case you uh, are lost. Ah, uh, well, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> same thing since we're the only ones that watch it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes. Yeah. So here, here's the move that I was wanting that I didn't have. I got to do the butt slam, man. Mm. I can't remember mm. what it's actually called. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> butt slam. Why are you making weird groaning noises? Sounds dirty. Or the, what is it called? I can't remember. It's not actually butt slam. It's like beak barrage or something you like know, that. It's like. Slam that button, man. You know, so it sounds dirty. Oh, come on, <laughs> fuck off. So yeah. All right, we can do this. Come on and slam, and welcome to the Whoop. jam. Whoops. You have to get it in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Don't know. Uh, jump on top of those. Fuck. To get that. Mm. So we do have to come back. After all of that, we'll have to come yeah. back in. Just quickly, we only gotta... Ah! Oh, to get that jiggy up there? No, it's not a jiggy. It's uh, to get the empty honeycomb piece that's up here. That. Uh, I meant the one in the eye. I thought yeah, we got it. That one we can do. Eye. No, that one we can do. Oh, okay. Okay. Go. So yeah, you get a jiggy for collecting all the Jinjos in every level. Uh-huh. Then you get... I don't think you get anything for the music notes but if the music notes are how you unlock the doors in the castle or in the lair oh that was the easiest one ever yeah that's what i was saying we don't <laughs> we don't need that for that but all right so what's all left i think we just got oh whoops i missed two of these oh we gotta i remember what we gotta do extra life do that all right so we got oh we gotta get one more so we gotta come down here. I think we can do this as this. We don't have to transform, if I remember right. So I've. This is one of my favorite Whoa, games to watch. Oh, it's called you ugly. Oh god, it's because I'm not an ant. Because uh, you can do transforms. That's racist. Uh, 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 <laughs> damn, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. In speed runs, uh, they a lot of speedrunners have figured out how to actually climb that without transforming, because transforming takes time. Hmm. But. Uh, I'm not good enough to do it, so I'm just going to transform. All right. Oh, I got to come in here. Wait. So, so uh, what I mean by transform is, so Mumbo. You need the all spark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Mumbo will transform you into, in this game, different creatures. Well, I think I think it's all creatures. Uh, if you give him his little Mumbo tokens. Mm. And uh, then you can generally complete, like, one Jiggy in the level. Right, or or you can traverse the level a little better or differently or something like that. You can get to areas that you couldn't as Banjo and Kazooie. I'm sure uh, what you're talking, I'm, I'm sure what you're talking about makes sense, but it just sounds like a bunch of mumbo jumbo to I me. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, 
Uh, anyway, so like in this one, he turns you into a, a little termite. You said ant. You lied to me. Yeah, well, I forgot. But yeah, so now like the so you know we we're just in there and the ant called us like ugly because we weren't an ant and now we're a termite and he calls you a pipsqueak because you're a small ant. It's pretty funny. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, uh, I thought he called you something for being tiny. Nope, he tries to compliment your shorts. Uh, this is the worst part: is that the uh, some of the camera angles in this really mess with you. Yeah, I don't think I can fight as the ant. Come on. <laughs> Got it. Depth perception in these games. Yeah. I, I always remember that about like the. Yeah, old, old N64 games. 3D platformers were uh, a little iffy on some of the depth perception. Yeah, it's really hard to tell where you're at sometimes. This, this always messed with my head. For whatever reason, this whole area was always like the one that really messed with me. All right. Do I dare? Okay. <laughs> Got it. Walk off. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it. Make it. All right. Good. Didn't fall off. All right. I'm proud so of now you. we've gotten all the ones in the level. And uh, there's one more. You still need a honeycomb. Yeah, I do. You're right. But I got to come back in anyway for it. So there's so there's kind of one thing that's kind of cool is you can actually leave the world as your transformation. And you can get a little far, a little ways into the castle before Mumbo like comes up and he's like, hey, you know, my magic's going to wear off if you get much farther. Right. So you can come out here and uh, climb up the mountain. Huh. And if I had done it, there would be a jiggy up there, but I forgot to do it. <laughs> Remember whenever I said I needed to smash that switch and I forgot because I didn't have the move? Yep. <laughs> if you smash that switch, there's a jiggy up there. <laughs> so so, uh, so now go we've got to go back yeah. <laughs> and then smash the switch. Yeah. So, you know, expert level speed running here. <laughs> But it's okay. We got. We would have had to. That's get it. well. Yeah. Now you can that. get that yeah. honeycomb right here. So yeah, it works out. <laughs> kind of. All right. Switch me back. Uh. Interrupting his nap. He, he, he always is sleeping though. Like you would think eventually he'd just be like, I want to get something done today. <laughs> nah. Like I, I know. I know. I don't know about you, but for me, like I love sleeping, right? And I will be the first to admit that I sleep a lot. But eventually, you just kind of get to the point where you're like, I gotta get something done. I wish I could sleep a lot. Yeah, well. Oh, come on! That was in his mouth. Can you not jump on him like it is? Alright. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. I want to show you this one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it this way. You gotta do it early. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, it may go too high. Oh, I, I got, I got back high. up a or move forward a little bit. Oh, I was way late. Oh, I was way late. All right. I love that you can recollect eggs if they don't shatter. Oh come on! <laughs> All right. So now can I collect eggs? <laughs> one of these has eggs. Yeah, that one. I think it was. Nope, not that one. I think it's that this one. one. No. I think it's no. No, it's this one. No. I don't know. Yeah, I knew. Trust me, I know. Why would I ever listen to you? <laughs> Have you ever led me uh, to the right path? Oh, that was bad. All right, now we got it. All right. All right, so yeah. there's that. And then we got to go work our way back over to Conga. Uh, oh, my gosh, this is taking so long. Well, uh, if you didn't do something stupid. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, whoa. I forgot these notes. What am I doing? Yeah, you clearly. What are my notes? Is this like okay. your first time? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> oh, nice six. Swimming's a bit uh, tricky. That's my only complaint with this game. Get it. And it's even worse in the second one because, like, they play with the inversion like so like when you go underwater it's inverted and when you're above water it's like no. not inverted and so it messes with 100. your mind yeah okay yeah so like i think at the end you need like 
600 notes or something like that to open the final door, which is insanely small, right? Because you get 100, and there's nine worlds, and you get 100 per world. If you get all of them. Yeah, yeah. if you get all of them. So you can open the final door, like, really late. Or really early, rather. All right. Uh, I got to do this. Get the orange. Get the, the chimpy. To, I mean, to Diddy Kong, basically. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks like... At first, I was like, wait, this can't be Diddy Kong. <laughs> That's the wrong... The, uh, the Kong franchise. family is actually a rare game. Is it? Yeah, they made uh, Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah. So, I guess we... I guess that kind of leads into... Part of the reason so I started... they are, to... like, involved with... Or they were involved with Nintendo. Oh, yeah. Pretty heavily, I yeah. guess. So I mean, I... like, obviously they were, because this was on N64, but I didn't realize they actually did a... You know... I mean, that's... A primary Nintendo character. Yeah. So yeah, that actually kind of makes me think of... So, the reason that I wanted to play this was because they just started uh, the ukulele Kickstarter the other day, which is, if you if you don't know, it's the uh, Kickstarter for a game made by essentially ex-Rare employees that were there at the time of Banjo-Kazooie. And it basically looks like it's going to play very similarly to Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I was trying to avoid having to go back up to Mumbo, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. Um, so it looks like it's going to play like that. And so it got me thinking. I was like, I really want to play that. But one of the things that they talked about in their Kickstarter thing is that they are essentially the architects of the current kind of Donkey Kong you know, franchise. Because mm-hmm. like they, they were the people that came up with the whole like Kong family and the fact that you know, the whole, like, 3D platformer side of Donkey Kong. Right. So. Yeah, I totally had forgotten as about that. As well as that. this game. So but they were... Did they do Diddy Kong Racing as no, well? No, that was a... Wait, Rare did. Yeah, that's what I meant. Did Rare do that? Yeah, I believe so. Because I loved that game. Yeah, see, I never played that one. Well, extensively. I played it, like, on and off. Because I, I think one of my friends had it. But I never had it. So I, I basically never played that. I was always Mario Kart 64. I mean, yeah, I definitely played Mario Kart 64 primarily, but I got Diddy Kong Racing for a while, and, and like, right. that was a lot of fun, too. It was just different, because it was more of a... It was more geared toward playing it single-player, whereas Mario Kart was clearly more meant for right. multiplayer. Because there was an actual, like, story to it and stuff, if I remember correctly. Huh. huh. Didn't know that. So, yeah, see, I got too far, and now it's Magic War Off. But now I'm Banjo again. But I got all the jiggies in that world. So yeah, there's like ten. So in- does that count as one of the ones from that world? No, like getting that, it on so, top of that's it. What I was gonna say. So similar to Mario, uh, 64. Remember there was Castle Star. Yeah, there were Castle. Stars. So that's the that's one of the there's ten castle or you know layer jiggies. Mm-hmm. That so in every world there's a switch like that that you have to go ground pound, and it puts a jiggy in the world. <laughs> Or in, the, in the cool. lair, so, so yeah. So this is one of the note doors that I was talking about. So I needed fifty. To, so I had to get fifty in that world to open this, and I got a hundred. So just enough. Yeah, I think I can open like the first two doors. Maybe maybe just one. But yeah, you know, uh, yeah. And when you visit bottles, he actually refills your health, which is nice. Neat. He's so much better than Toad. <laughs> Toad. Oh yeah. So here's one of the other. Th- yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I actually saw a funny uh, or heard a funny theory on the the Mario franchise that Toad is actually the villain. And I don't remember the whole thing. I'd have to go look it up again. But like, there's this whole thing where like, you know, that Mario is being tricked. That Bowser is actually the hero sent by the Koopa race to uh, defend the kingdom against the koopa and or the the toad invasion uh-huh. and and their like princess and princess peach is like the like evil witch that basically is you know leading the invasion of toads that's why it's the mushroom you know like all that and that uh bowser's the actual hero and mario's being like duped into you know having into basically defending the tr- uh, toads against bowser like, because he's, you know, pussy whipped, better for lack of a better <laughs> term. Thought it was kind of interesting. 
Yeah, some of those fan theories are some of those are really interesting. Like uh, and some like it's the best like the best ones are the ones you're like I totally see that literally makes sense. Yeah, they're, like there's some where they're really like fleshed out and they will think of like everything. And you're like, dude, you could be right. Yeah, because <laughs> like and it's usually the stuff where like some of the specifics aren't ever revealed. So like you're always wondering about the background of certain scenarios, and then this fan theory comes out, and you're like, you could be right. Like. Yeah. The writers haven't really said one way or the other about this thing, you know? Yeah. I don't know. But I'm trying to think of an example, and I can't right now. But there's a couple really cool ones that I've heard. Which one did I come from? I think it came from that one. Did I? Yeah, I went backwards. Oops. So this is kind of a pain, trying to remember my way around the castle. I don't quite remember this. But I can't remember. Oh, wait, I think it's more the... of a lair. Yeah, okay. So this is another <laughs> cool thing. So, as you unlock these, like, these are basically fast travel points. So, like, so this is a purple cauldron, right? So, uh -huh. if I find another, like, purple cauldron, I think it's actually magenta or something. You know, if I basically find another cauldron of this color farther in the castle and I jump into it, it'll kick me out in the uh, in the adjacent one, which oh, is kind of cool. cool. So, it's a, so because, you know, every time you, you know, save and quit, you'll start the game back at the beginning of the layer. So, right, so you can kind of skip to that point in right. the... Which is Level, nice. Or, I think I think that I think that yeah. one is the very last one that you'll find again. So this is I was gonna say this. This is another one of the things in the game that they do. So this is uh, Gruntilda's uh, good sister, her that basically the the good witch, right? And uh, she she'll you'll find her all around the lair, and she'll give you secrets about Gruntilda. Most of them are just goofy, you know. But like what they do is at the very end of the game, you have to. Uh, Basically, play a board game with Gruntilda, okay. and one of the what is Salted Slug? You need to help me remember that for the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the game, you'll play a board game, and like one of the squ spaces is you have to answer a question about Gruntilda. Uh, and uh, it does help you get. Yeah, it. and if you've been like, it's literally like she'll give you the straight up question that she just gave you the answer to there. She'll ask, you know, what's her favorite toothpaste? And you'll say, salted slug. And if you get it right, you know, you move on. And if you don't, you, I think you lose a heart piece. So, or a, a honeycomb, not heart piece. Wrong game. Um, <laughs> so, it's a, cool, it's a cool thing. But it's, like, randomly generated. So, it changes every time. You can't just, like, look them up. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. So, it kind of forces you to be on the lookout for... Bryn Tilda, I think it was her name, something like that. Bryn Tilda, I Bryn Tilda, maybe. I think that's what it was. Nipper. I think Nipper's in another Nintendo game, actually. Even. Whoa. I think so. I think he became a Nintendo character. Yeah, Kazooie. Uh, Kazooie's uh, just got a little temper on him. Uh, ah, mess that up. Ah, uh, mess that up. Uh, what are you trying to do? That. You gotta do so he'll he'll take swipes at you like this, and then like oh you know just like open up and you gotta go do that. You gotta do that like three times, three four times. Oh okay. Uh, so it's a boss fight. Uh! <laughs> <laughs> he went for uh! it again. I. <laughs> yeah, he gets hit. That time gets a lot shorter as you go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You can do it. No, wait, wait. I'm gonna wait, wait. for the next go around. Hey, go. You waited too late. Gosh. You gotta go f when he starts his left hand the third time. Yeah, okay. Like, one, one two, go. Yes! Nailed it. <laughs> okay. I was a little afraid. I was, I was cutting it close. All right. All right. We're home invaders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, apparently he we shrunk him. Because we'll come in here and there's a little bitty one. Or a li couple little people. Oh, God, I'm about to die. Uh, 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 oh, damn it! Uh, so, this is one thing that changed about, like, when they ported it. If you died... So, I've collected how many notes? I don't know, like 10 notes. If I had died with like 99 notes, I would have to collect all 99 of them again. Uh, 
uh, thank God they're now, like, once you collect it once, it's done. That's good. So, yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll kind of go beat Nipper again next time. <laughs> All right. Replaying this. Ah! Fuck off. I'll let's end with you dying. <laughs> I'm actually going to. Oh, <laughs> ah, God! <laughs> Damn it! You're really going I'm to I'm not die. even trying to. All right. All I right. hate you. You barely survived. That was all your fault. <laughs>